Vision 2030 recognizes rapid urbanization as one of the key challenges facing urban areas in the country. This is due to the rising urban population and urbanization exerting pressure on the existing infrastructure and public utilities. For the financial year ending 2020 under the leadership of Governor James Nyoro, Kiambu County being the second most populated county in the country, galvanized efforts to address this challenge through the departments of roads and lands, municipal administration and urban development by implementing infrastructure and utility services projects worth 1.8 billion in Thika, Ruiru, Kiambu, Limuru, Karori and Kikuyu municipalities. The objectives of the Kenya Urban Support Program is to assist the counties develop our urban areas. And we realize that there is quite a rapid population growth in urban areas. And uh, as counties, we, we needed to focus a bit more to support our urban population, making sure that uh, the growth of population is commensurate to the infrastructure development we are putting in those areas. And so, one of the main objectives of this uh, uh, program was to assist the county in uh, you know municipalities like Kikuyu where we we encounter too much traffic in the in Kikuyu town we tried to do uh, non-motorized mobility plans where people don't have to come to the to you know to the urban area with vehicles you know they can leave their vehicles elsewhere and come walk to the town 64 kilometers of road with an elaborate drainage and non-motorized transport facilities have been constructed 20 kilometers of stormwater drainage systems and two urban public parks have been rehabilitated. Tokora tokegere haide gitore ya haide ya papa no ya na mathina. Mono haide ya ratarabiti kuthondekwo. Nitwagiyito mono ni marima na rukongo. Ria mbura yaura. Oko tirauti ka bira ni horo drainage. Maria mari horo akura twaruta gira wira. Binyo kono mwe kinya we twaruka wira no arema. Nitukoretwo na ihinda irito for the last almost 4 years. Gukoretwo na rukongo ruinge na marima marare manene muno. Ege gariro kaga eka goda irima ega ikia mai kore amwe na ine oga corona irio sito ni ira chafuka customer makarega goka ni todo aruko go na re uda isi ni tora kena ni todo fara fara ito ne deku ona corona ni goti gari tegua kuwa wakuwe na drain eji ti deku ni tu kena temu no. An estimated 85,000 households now have access to a secondary sewer system in parts of Riru and Juja, and over 500 integrated solar streetlights will be installed throughout these areas. A 12-kilometer secondary sewer distribution system from Gedurai through Kyo to Kahawa Wendani, and a 2.2-kilometer stormwater drain from Chumambili through Konayabata to Kyo River are under construction in Riru municipality. The system will direct effluent and storm water to receiving trunk sewers at Katharaini and Keo. These will drastically change the lives of residents in Kedurai, Keo and Kahawa who for long have been using the unreliable septic tanks system. From 2003, I was in the <laughs> Kikuyu municipality, which covers the areas of Kikuyu and Kabete, is upgrading to bituminous standards a total of 9.1 kilometers of roads incorporated with non-motorized transport facilities, stormwater drainage system and installation of 220 integrated solar streetlights. People are very happy with the project. We've had uh, the security improving in the areas that we've done the roads. We've seen uh, real estate uh, growth. We've also seen uh, a boom of the businesses. Wanakoro uwe mwekiri uwe tenere kugiri uwe dhaka muno. Itorake nera uwe dhaka uwe mwego uwe. Wanamudhiye bere mwekiri na kuhuri ya kuhuki. Koro ta unusio the siya hano uwe. Ito hitha kare muno. Ni dhaka muno. Yemuru te tewe ira mwego. Every municipality prepares annual urban plans which forms the basis for allocation of funds.
the projects are approved by members of the public through public participation before subsequent approval by cabinet and the county assembly. This is in accordance with the Urban Areas and Cities Act number 13 of 2011. At Thicker Town, the upper road from KRA to Stadium will be constructed. The road acts as a bypass to Garissa Road through General Cargo Road. Kenyatta Highway, which is the major road for Thika, is also being rehabilitated. Goliba Ward will have its first tarmac in the next few months, with the upgrading to bituminous standards of Kilimambogo, Makutano and Mugoga Township Access Road. The township has also benefited from 40 streetlights. A 4.7 km secondary sewer is traversing through Mwigai Inn, Chief's area and Daima Estate, increasing the number of residents with access to sewer services. This is expected to reduce the cases of pollution and waterborne diseases related to hazardous liquid waste which in turn will enhance standards of living in a clean, sustainable environment. The Ganjo area is a very highly density uh, 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 area and uh, a lack of uh, sewer has, uh, has resulted to a lot of uh, uh, problems in, uh, in terms of health because you see the uh, sewer flowing uh, right where the people are. In line with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal number 11 on sustainable cities and communities, non-motorized transport facilities at Kikuyu Municipality have been rehabilitated, complete with street landscaping. Two public parks, Christina Wangari Gardens and Felma Park, have also been rehabilitated with Thika Town Streets, benefiting from landscaping works. In Karori Municipality, an ultra-modern fire and disaster management center is now in operation at a cost of 63 million shillings. Your Excellency Kurigana reported yesterday to me at the first station near now, near our area in our Kenya. The area of Karori Abugama, Kila Digeke, the Kiabu, the Yutoka, the Akere, the Odohoti Waku. We equip this facility with the modern facilities kama vile mmeona hiyo gari tulinunua hiyo gari juzi na mmeona ikisimama hapo inapiga moto mpaka kwa huko huko juu ya nyumba we are going to equip this fire disaster ili atutaki kuambiwa tendi ya pili tunataka iwe ya kwanza to complement this mega project major road projects including Karura Munyaka Kawaida Jono Kihara Hospital Access Road and construction of Mushada Sustainable Urban Mobility Plan are ongoing. This is Karura Munyaka Road. Uh, this is a 1.5 kilometer road uh, stretching from uh, Karura Shopping Center to Munyaka Shopping Center at PM. Uh, the scope of this project is that it will have the AC, like the, the tarmac that we have, uh, drainage system on both sides. Project in the World Bank, it to me, more than I go to the changes. It is going to be a lot of people who are going to be able to get the money, 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 the Limuru, with an allocation of 160 million, is constructing a bypass incorporating non motorized transport facilities and solar streetlights to connect the town to Nairobi Nakuru Highway at Kamandora. While in Kiambu, Rabai Shopping Center and Gatito Gedega roads are also being upgraded to bituminous standards and installed with solar streetlights. <laughs> Na neto woke na mono ne gavana vitu ne vera mwegore aluta. To ikarete to to na vara jodu mono miake o egedirete. No le uga ni ara mwekire ara to diri kana idwe le muru. Ara to dole kera vara le uto ra kera hadu hadaka mono. 
Since taking office, Governor Nyoro's administration is also rehabilitating and opening up rural roads in all the 16 wards. The Directorate of Roads is also constructing more travel bridges in Juja, at Darasha, Mwotha and Riorero. A total of 327 kilometers of rural access roads have been graveled and 100 kilometers opened up through grading. A further 500 kilometers of road in Nyandoma and Kamboro wards have been maintained through a partnership with Kagwe and Kambati factories. <laughs> na thini wa rali na githongori sub counties tunyitanete na akuria a mashani nga tuhote ko improve farfara ya shote si goko o the linking roads na ya shote ko ya gukura ya mashani ndeto ta county ni to provide te kwale to provide material excavators na other tree growing areas through their directors or a kaba factory na kaba factory ni me go provide marori maria maria koro ma ferry materials all those two growing areas to to improve the road network. In an effort to improve ease of doing business, the Directorate of Utility Services has partnered with Rural Electrification to install street lights and floodlights on a 50-50 basis. We are here to celebrate the agreement that we are going to sign with LELIC uh, so that we can work together in order to extend street lighting uh, to Kiambu residents, uh, flood masks, and maintenance of the same. The Directorate of Public Works, which designs, documents, and supervises county construction projects, has in the last one year been handling construction of prefabricated COVID-19 isolation units in Tigoni, Thika, Ruiru, Kiambu, and Kithiga. Other projects the Directorate is handling range from construction of hospitals, markets, bus parks and vocational training centers. Under the Directorate of Housing, Governor Nyoro has also completed a five-story office building at Red Nova to house the Departments of Finance and Roads. The County Government of Kiambu continues to improve connectivity through infrastructure development, opening up rural roads and strengthening urban areas through improvement and maintenance of stormwater drains, construction of NMT facilities and installation of streetlights.